Hey guys, happy Fossil Friday. Today I'm going to be showing off a somewhat obscure prehistoric animal that the general public doesn't know too much about. And that's the giant bird called Gastornis. But let's talk about it and its interesting history. Gastornis was a flightless bird, which was the first large one to evolve after the KT extinction event, which killed off the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. And lived between the late Paleocene to late Eocene of approximately 60 to 45 million years ago, and originated in Europe and migrated out to North America and possibly Asia. They were generally large, being about six and a half feet tall, with a maximum weight of about 450 pounds. Their skulls were very large compared to the rest of its body, and given the morphology and characteristics, it was thought to be the earliest terror bird. A group that would truly arise about 2 million years ago to stalk the megafauna of the Ice Age. It was this depiction that was most famously shown in the famous documentary, Walking the Beast, as it showed to be the last remnant of the dinosaurs, and still applied pressure to the early mammals from being more successful. It was also shown to be a predator that would hunt down things such as early horses. It wasn't until a decade later that isotopic data from the bones of Gastornis showed that it was no predator at all, having zero indication it ate meat, but was rather a gigantic herbivore, which most likely used its large skull and giant jaw muscle to break open hard to crack seeds and other difficult material rather than using it to break its prey's body. It was also shown through phylogenetic analyses that Gastornis only superficially resembled the terrapirds, but was actually a member of the order Enceriformis, which is in fact the waterfowl group, and its closest relatives are ducks and geese. Given their widespread presence across different continents and their reign being about 15 million years, they were incredibly successful. The reason for its extinction is not known for certain. But it was most likely due to climate change as Earth started to become more cold and dry. Being a bird adapted to jungles and consuming the large fruits and seeds, it's possible it didn't have enough time to adapt, but there's no definitive proof seen yet. Nonetheless, they were still incredibly impressive. Even if they didn't hunt down prey, they were still big enough to look you in the eye and make you really reconsider your life choices. And here is the final piece. I'm honestly really happy how this came out, and I'm excited to share it with you all. What do you guys think about Gastornis? Let me know in the comments below, and thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day, and see you in the next one.